You smell that? That's the smell of May. And May is bike month, which also means that's the smell of a missed opportunity that I could have taken in order to make more videos about bike month. But why is May bike month, you may be asking? Well, May is bike month because an organization called May is bike month says so. With a lot of bike activities happening like National Bike to Work Day, Bike Month, and summer just right around the corner, a lot of people are mounting up and getting on their bikes. And now, this time of year is perfect for starting to commute to work via bike. As someone who loves bikes too much to drive for transportation, you know, that's totally it now because I'm broke, I've learned quite a few things about commuting by bike over the years. I present to you the beginner's guide for commuting by bike. We're going to take a look at three main points for starting to commute by bike today. And the first thing is planning, the second thing is the gear that you need, and the third thing is a few tips about commuting by bike. First, planning. Make sure that your round trip distance is doable for your fitness level and is doable for the amount of time that you're willing to put in to log in miles. Usually an appropriate commuting time is about 30 minutes or less each way, but if you're willing to commit more time and more of your energy into commuting, then by all means, go for it. So before you go out gung-ho commuting, please do make sure that the distance that you will be riding is doable for your fitness level. Next, also make sure that you can commute a doable frequency each week. When I started commuting by bike, I only commuted once per week, every Wednesday. Then I started riding every Monday and Wednesday, and eventually every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And eventually I started commuting by bike every weekday. So my recommendation for you from experience is to just start with a small commitment and start commuting commuting to where you need to go once per week. And after you build up that confidence and build up the fitness level in order to commute more via bike, add more days to your week that you can dedicate to doing so. The third thing that you need to plan is your route. Know the route in your head before you leave for your commute. This minimizes the possibility of something dumb happening like getting lost. Choose routes that have the least traffic and that are the most bike friendly. Now Google Maps is getting better at giving you navigation routes that are pretty bike friendly but honestly it still kind of sucks with experience you'll optimize the best routes for your commutes find better side streets alleyways and bike paths that have the least traffic and also find the best times for commuting in your area probably the best way to plan your route is to do a dry run on the weekend and see what you can improve upon before your first commute Another thing to keep in mind is the time that it will take for your entire commute. This includes the prep time for your commute, actually doing your commute, and the cleanup time for your commute. Because biking is quite a sweaty activity, and if you're commuting and going into work, I would guess that you want to look pro. Professional. Professional. Don't wear your kit to work, unless that's your job. The second thing that you'll need to consider if you are a new commuter is the gear that you'll need. Now there's three sections of gear that you need. So first is the absolute bare bones gear that you need in order to commute to work. Second is strongly recommended gear that will make your commute more comfortable and safer. And third is what I call the commuter's luxuries. Stuff that you don't necessarily need, but it is nice to have. Now there's two things in the bare bones level of commuting gear. And of course that is a bicycle that is in good functioning order. One that won't break down on you on your commute. And second is a helmet in order to protect your one and only noggin. Now the second type of gear is strongly recommended recommended and it will help you on your commute. This includes two good bike locks, unless you can bring your bike into your workplace, a headlight and taillight, a patch kit, spare tube, a pump, deodorant, an extra set of non-sweaty clothes, a phone, and a backpack to carry all your gear. Also some snacks, because those are pretty nice. All of the gear here will keep you more comfortable, more visible, and more prepared for any dumb things that might happen. And the third type of gear are the commuter's luxuries. This includes racks and panniers that keep the weight off of your back, which reduces back sweat. Again, bicycling is quite a sweaty activity as I'm sweating here under the lights. And of course, you could also buy a full cycling kit. Cycling kit, I'm told, is better fitting for riding, which means you have less chafing and also it's more breathable. Again, less sweaty. And the third thing to consider is actually riding your commute. Now here we have some tips to help you do so. Now, actually riding your commute boils down to just doing it, and 
not being an idiot. My advice for new riders is to use the road as a car would use the road. Use the bike lane if one is available, but if there's no bike lane, don't be afraid to use the full lane because at least I know, as far as I know, in the state of California, it is law that a cyclist is allowed to use the full lane. This increases the visibility and discourages drivers from making unsafe passes. Although some people in California do not understand that this is the law and believe that bikes are just for children and sidewalks, so you may experience an increased number of honking, but if they're honking, that means they see you, which means you're safe. The more that you ride with traffic, the more comfortable that you'll get commuting. And you'll see that riding a bike isn't nearly as dangerous as people think. So use your noggin, keep your wits about you, be aware of your surroundings, be visible, and be predictable for traffic, and you should be pretty safe, and be pretty comfortable riding in the streets. So today, we looked at the importance of planning your commute, the gear that you will need for your commute, and some helpful tips for staying safe while you commute. Now, this video is just the beginner's guide to commuting. You can find more comprehensive guides in the description if you're interested in this topic. Now, for all of you veteran bike commuters out there, let me ask you this. What is the number of miles that you log in every week commuting to and from school or work? And number two, what is the most valuable tip that you have learned through experience that you can pass on to our new commuters here? Leave your miles and your tips in the comments below and ride safely out there and I'll see you guys in our Wednesday vlog.